Dimitri, see there? Yeah, you're muted. Yeah, I don't know why. I don't know why my mic keeps muting. I don't know why, but it's annoying. All right. Well. Anyway, where where were we? Oh, this is the worst. This is the worst. The worst part, part guys ever. This is the worst goddamn live we have ever done. Yeah, <laughs> all kind of technical <laughs> difficulties. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, but what I was saying is this, right? I started reading comic shops, second, third grade. And, you know, it's character familiarity. Unless somebody picks up a, a, a when these kids pick up a comic, like, oh, why is it Silver Surfer not a lady? There's no, like, the one, any, everything they learn is going to be like, I'm not going to say it's going to be false, but it's going to be like, okay, like, uh, the, I'm not saying this. Uh, I'll say it like this: the agenda is real. Like, yo, you say it time and time again. You know, I'm not sitting there trying to take anything from a woman, as we all came from women. But when you think about it, they could have used the heat. The um, there are plenty of galactic uh, galactuses heroes they could have used. They could have used on um, fire um. Firestar, that's a woman. Nova. Nova. No, nope. Nova's not a woman. I thought Nova was one of Galactus's heroes and it was a woman. No. Um, Frankie Ray. Nova. Galactus Herald. Nova Core. That's a Galactus Herald. Yep, I thought so. Nova is one of Galactus's heralds. It's a she woman. Has a fire. Yeah, she has fire hair. It's a woman. She's like a she's like a she's like a gold version of um Silver Surfer, but with fire hair. In fact, why didn't he just do this? That's what I'm saying. Yeah, why didn't he just do this? That's what I'm saying. If she looks cool. It would have been a, a different look, you know. Bring and expand the universe. Yeah, I would have just done this, man. Because they could have always brought the surf the surfer in at another uh time. Injunction. And I understand they might not want um they might not want to bring in um had the people thinking about the um past. The past characters, yeah, but matter of fact, so the audience can see it. What I was looking at, I was okay, kind of looking well, at the, my, my okay, monitor here. we were actually nope. thinking about the same person, Frank Ray and Arm Nova are the same person. Yeah, this is a character that we're talking about that they could have used instead of the Silver Surfer. She looks but just as I, cool, she has a different look about it with the fire thing. But I kind of get where they're coming from with that because she looks too much like she'll be too similar to the human torch. But okay, yeah, I can see that. Well, just make her hair to make the fire a different color. Do something. Yeah, instead of the red, give her like blue, blue flames. Yeah, man, I just think that uh I think that they're lazy and they're pandering too much. Well, and they're losing sight. Well, here's the thing. I don't really care that much that they are sex swapping the surfer. Like I was saying before, I don't know if, if the audience heard me, if I if my mic was screwing up again. That looks cool. But um I think I think the I think the problem is I think the pro I think the problem is that I'm just I'm tired of the superhero movies. I think this chick, what's her name? What's the chick that's gonna play the surfer? I don't know. She was on those arcs. Like uh Jean something. Um new silver surfer. Yeah, this chick. I think she's a good actress. She has a very distinct look to her. But I just think that like when I look at her, what's what's this chick's name? So we can get it like a full uh 
Julia Garner. Julia, Julia Garner. Like, okay, now look at her now. She doesn't say silver surfer to me. And I've been wrong about my comic book casting. And well, look how thin it. look how thin she is. You know, I'm not I like when I think of the silver surfer, I think power. And that's what that's that's what I think. I don't get I that. Wanna be, I, I, I wanna see yeah, I wanna wouldn't mind being at one of these corporate meetings and they sit there and say, Well, how can we shake things up? Let's make the silver server a three foot tall white woman. Well, how tall is she? I don't know how tall she is. I don't know. I'm, I'm, she I, got me I, short. I remember her. I remember she her was being short. Short in uh yeah in um in Ozarks. I remember her from her in Ozarks, and she was yelling all the time, and she had a real <laughs> bad southern accent. Yeah, she's five five, dude. Surfer, I'm not seeing it, man. Pandering is real. It's so real. I'm like, man. Yeah, I'm just not seeing it. This is her without the damn. All right, so this is her without her, I guess, her signature blonde hair. Mm -hmm. And I have to say, she looks different. So maybe they can make her up well and make her look. Well, she's going to be, you think? huh? She's going to be mostly CGI for the surfer. Yeah, but yeah, I don't know, man. I'm just not. I'm just not seeing it. She like after her performance on Ozarks, and mind you, I'm not. I hate to judge her off of one show, but, but she was screaming all the time. But Surfer is one of the rare characters that is both calm and. Now you you said she had a you said she had a horrible Southern accent. I I thought she was Southern. <laughs> she convinced me. When I see her face, though, she has like a chiseled type face. So I don't. Know, I, can, I I can, I'm trying to imagine her bald. I can I can maybe see it working. I'm trying to imagine her from, doing something you know, else. From and the, uh, once again, I'm not saying put for all our female viewers out there, I'm not saying that a female cannot play a male character. Just have the right character, have some type of history behind that character being a female. Like, as much as we hate the movie, like Black Panther 2, Shuri was a, a Black Panther in the comic books. I, I didn't want to see that. Cause she, cause she wasn't a Black Panther for that long in the comic either. She's still a Black Panther in the comic. No, she isn't. She's the leader. Of, um, she's the queen of Wakanda. That don't make her a Black Panther. The yeah, panther, know, man. Um, the panther is traditionally the king of <laughs> the leader of Wakanda. Yeah, I don't know. I, she uh, look. I'll say this: she has an interesting look. Uh, I can see the more I look at it, I can see kind of why they picked her, maybe. Yeah, I, it's called pandering. No, I'm saying just from a purely aesthetic. If you're gonna if you're gonna go with a female server surfer, I can kind of see why they, why they went with her. It, she has a, she has a I'm because I'm trying to imagine her bald, like this is about as close as I think you're gonna get to her being bald. Um, she has a distinct look that I think. She doesn't have a commanding look. She doesn't have a look that's um as much as you say she's not an actress, a good actress, Mila Djokovic. <laughs> this part right here. <laughs> she's yelling, screaming her ass off. All the time. <laughs> the whole entire run on that show, she was yelling at somebody. I felt bad. I was like, man. The fuck is over my computer, man. I don't know. All right, so here we go. This is her with short hair. I'm trying to imagine her bald. I don't. Know, I can see it. I can see it, man. Nah, I still I don't can see, see it. it. I think. I think. And I'm not even being biased. There's something about her that I'm trying to find the right words. 
um, I don't even know how to describe it. I could, I can see her as a female silver surfer. I, I, the more I look at her, the height is an issue. But I think it, with the right direction, she has the look. And I think what I mean by she has a look, when I think of a silver server, I think of like, a, uh, you know, like those mannequins, those very generic looking mannequins. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And like she has that look. Like she, like she could be a mannequin. <laughs> like all her, all her features are averaged out. You know what I'm saying? Mm. So I can see so a bald version of her being, being a uh, silver surfer. Again, my my issue is my my major issue is I just don't care to see another Fantastic Four movie. I, I think that's done. I care to see. Only reason why I care to see it another Fantastic Four movie is I want them to. That's their segue to introduce and do, and that's just the they, fan. But they already movie. they already ruined that though. They already but ruined they, the they ruined that. But if they do a good one, but they're probably not because they ruined everything else over the last couple of years. That's what I'm saying. They've ruined Doom. I don't think you're going to be able to do him right. Uh, even if you did, who would care? Because even if they did him right, they'll screw up some other aspect of the uh, mythos of the movie. Yeah, so it's just like, eh, you know. And look, look at look at this, though. Look at this, though. Imagine you know, that she doesn't have the hair here. She's bald with the cheekbones, and she's like all silver. I can, I can see it. I can see it. She's got that generic mannequin look and she's a good actor so so really it's going to be up to like this is for height height she's short man hold on look about i see how only thing man she's short how, man how tall does the silver surfer stand let's see silver surfer well he, well we can't even go off of that because you know they can adjust height for it, anything these days <laughs> That's true. I mean, it's not a, it's not like a complete like yeah. Silver Surfer is like six foot four, a big, big dude, big dude. All right, I'll give her. A, I'm gonna give it a chance. Of course, I'm not. I'm not gonna give it a chance. I, Marvel is dead to me. When it comes out on when it streams, I will watch it in certain ways that I will not repeat. <laughs> Uh, on this live, Marvel and Star Wars is dead. I mean, like right here, look at this. Look at this right here. There's something about her w w without the hair, like the short hair. She has an interesting profile or whatever. I can see why they picked her. I can see why they picked her. Boy, she looked like straight trailer trash right here, though. <laughs> that's, that's what she was yelling at everybody. I know. I know. <laughs> <laughs> There's like a meme of her, I think, in the Black Manosphere. Where she was yelling. She was like, you're going to have to kill me. <laughs> they use that as a proxy for, uh, you, know, you know, crazy black women can get. But let me stop. I mean, I'm trying, not trying to get political on this. See? They say, you all say, I'm going to get us canceled. It's going to be you. I guarantee it. <laughs> you're going to have to kill me. <laughs> Speaking of that. Guess who, uh, I, I will not reveal who I spoke to, but I saw this person. Never mind. That's that's a, for <laughs> off camera um, conversation. But <clears throat> man, oh man. So, oh, I I did want to say to the audience, I would be more interested in what's her name, Julia Garner, playing Claire from a. Uh, this girl, yeah, Claire oh. from um Claymore. I'll be more interested in that. I like. I would rather see a Claymore movie than that. Like, if get her I, to play Claire, I, I would rather see more anime. I'd much movie. rather see that. I mean. It's more fantastical, and there's a lot. I'll more. say this though: I think I think Claymore is one is an anime that would adapt really, really well to live action. If you got the right creative team behind it, I think it adapt really, really well. 
That was that's a badass looking um statue. And this this outfit right here that she's wearing, this mm -hmm. black outfit, um, this is when her there was a seven people, it was a seven uh Crave Wars that it, yeah, they're called like the um what are they called? The ghost something, seven ghosts. And they stay up in the mountains and they train for like seven years just to take down an organization. I wish they would have showed that shit in the anime. That's what I'm saying. I think there's a lot of potential with Claymore, man. A lot of potential. And um, as a let's live action have, movie for let's Western audiences. Let's, let's have that conversation, right? Why do they, uh, um, shows they just cut off? I remember when you put me on Symbiotic Titan. I was watching that religiously. Every week it came on. <laughs> yeah. Toy sales. And I understand merchandising does help fund the show. Oh, it this does. thing's only $39 and 40. I this thing says it's $39. When it's like that, it's I doubt I doubt it looks like that if you would actually get it. <laughs> but they get a team move. It says it's a miniature. How long how tall is it? It's on Etsy. It's like somebody made it. You better get with a team ten, of ten, ten, says with with this 10 centimeters height is six. How how tall is 16 centimeters? Not tall. That should look dope, dude. That's tiny. Yeah, it has to be tiny. This is freaking America. They got this metric shit on here. What is 16 centimeters? It's like six inches, six inches tall. Does it look like that though? Six I mean, if it has that level of of detail, sixteen centimeters. Or is this? A, it looks like I bet this is a three D model. I don't think this is what it actually looks like. Yeah, this is a three D model. You better, you better order and get a T move surprise. It says Claire Claymore collectible resin miniature with base, high quality three D printed figure of Claire. You probably have to like paint it yourself or something. And I think what they're showing is is the actual 3D model and not the actual print. Yeah, for sure. That should look dope though. <laughs> but yeah, I, I would much rather I think she she doesn't look exactly like Claire, but I think if they gave her the same hairstyle because she's already got the blonde hair and the blue eyes and all that shit, mm -hmm. um, she has a she has a distinct face that I think would work. You know, uh, for the character, and she's slender enough. I think her her build um, matches the character. Holy shit! This one where she's like half awakened and stuff. Dang, they got a thick ass Claire on that one. <laughs> here you go. Here's your favorite Claire right here. Your favorite Claire right here, Demetrius. <laughs> I can't. See. What are you showing me? You don't see it. I see it, but I can't tell who was that supposed to be. Was, you know, like, fat, I see her. Yeah. Fat Claire. Let's if I can make it larger. Yeah, see it now. <laughs> uh, she, 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 she did, did, she she did, did a good job. I will, I'll just say that could be a dude too. The more I think about it, but um, he or she, whatever. They did a good job with the with the shoulder pad and the sword. The sword actually looks pretty good. I give him credit. Give him credit where credit is due. It's just you got the wrong model. <laughs> got the wrong you, model. You want to know the character I liked in that um story? Um, Teresa, right now, not not Teresa. Well, Teresa's bad ass, but the um Teresa's the one that, the the one that cut off her arm to give it to Claire. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, what's her name? Elena or something like that. Yeah, she was cool too. Like there, are, there are no like true like, Her, her like pre like her somewhat awakened form actually looks better in the manga. I kind of didn't like how it looked in the uh. Who Claire's? Yeah. I like the girl, the one the, she ended up fighting at the end. I like her form, last form. The one that killed Teresa. Oh um, uh damn! I, I was just watching the thing. What's her name? Um. Damn, I was just watching this. What's her name? 
I can't remember. That's why I'm hoping you'll tell me. Um, what's your name? Priscilla. Mm -hmm. Yeah, her. To be fair, she was fully awakened, so you got to see her full whatever. I can't wait and, to get this manga, man. I want to read all these shits. And I think Teresa comes back, if I remember correctly. Yeah, I think she does in the manga. She does. And because I think I don't think I don't know what happened to Claire, but I think Teresa does come back. That already looks dope. Let's talk about anime. Um, like remember, I was talking about. Yes, the this right here. I think I think this right here is Teresa with the wings, like a res resurrected Teresa. Right here. It's a dope story. I mean, yeah, man, I can't wait. I can't wait to get the manga to read them all. I can no. see Teresa's awakened form being this too because um she uh she was she was so good at 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 uh <clears throat> at controlling the yogi or whatever it's mm -hmm. called that I don't think her awakened form would really alter her all that much. Yeah, I can't wait to I can't wait to read this shit, dude. And just I think because I think she beat Priscilla like, yes, you know, like Priscilla's awakened form right here, and Priscilla wasn't even fully awakened right here. And I think, but I think she beat her like right before she um killed her, like with like one percent of her power. Yeah, yeah, because you remember that um you remember that fight? She's like, I want you to notice something about me. You're like, no, remember they have... they said when they when they're yeah. when the eyes turn gold, they're only using like five to ten percent. So she was using like five to ten percent, I think. But that five percent, ten percent was a record shop. <laughs> yeah, well, Man, the art looks really good in this. Yeah, still ain't got nothing on Berserk. Sometimes Berserk. Berserk, sometimes Berserk is a little, a little too overdone for me, but I do like it. I mean, it's good work. Don't get me wrong. It's, great, your, oh, it's amazing work, I should say. Oh, I was about to say, like, you shut your. But I think. Here. You shut is your glass in his mouth. Is this Claire's uh that's her awakened form? Yeah, awakened form? yeah, because she um she's like the, the reason why I like Claire's form so much is she's you can tell that like only her core body is hers and everything mm -hmm. else is um because you know she was taking parts from off the other claymores. Yeah, so her, her I think one of her arms are a bunch of blades from the um I forgot her name. Yeah, we were just talking about her. Name Clay, I think it's Elena. Uh, Claymore with missing arm. What's her name? Yeah, Elena. I was right, Elena. Yeah. Good. So she's yeah, like a I'd scimitar like... type thing. Yeah, it's, well, she's more of a chimera. That's the word you were looking for. Like a bit a hodgepodge of because you remember she has hooves because she um, I think she took speed from um the one girl. Yeah. Right here it says why why Claire was superior even when low ranked. It says as already explained above, Claire became a claymore after she ingested Teresa's flesh. As a result of this, her Yoma abilities were a quarter instead of the regular half of a claymore's ability. However, Teresa's flesh also gave her an advantage over all the other claymores, which was the ability to gauge yogi flow and claymores as well as Yomas. This ability was unlocked when Claire became half awakened. Combined with her intelligence and presence of mind, Claire became Soon became a formidable opponent. Yeah, they said that she's real smart. Like she said that in her final test, she had to defeat another potential Claymore. And uh, even though she was outranked as far as power, she used like a rock or something. <laughs> I gotta read it. I can't wait to read it, man. I think like the parts we want to see, the parts we want to see come on right, like right after the. Um, the last fight. Yeah. 
her fight with Priscilla. Mm-hmm. But I'm like, this is a perfect. If you want to get, if you want to like hire women and have women leading in a role or whatever like that, but still yeah. have men come and see it, this the, why not do this? Why why race? Or not right? Why why sex swap characters that everyone loves? Well, you have a great story. I think aesthetically, a lot of Westerners would would gravitate. I mean, you got hot chicks with big ass swords. You know what I'm saying? They would totally gravitate towards this. You know and I don't get it. Like, you know, I'd rather see this. I'd rather see this in Fantastic Four. I'm sorry, but just don't have uh, what's his name, Zack Snyder. <laughs> don't have Zack Snyder and don't have Michael Bay directed. Just just keep those two directors completely away from it. What in fact, it? I would bring in the Ru- Russo brothers to direct this. In fact, that's the only way I would probably go see Fantastic Four in the theaters is if they brought the Russo brothers back to direct it. That's the only way I would do it. That is a dope image, though, man. Which one? Um, her awakened form. Yeah, that should look dope, man. I didn't know that was. I didn't know that was her awakened form. You don't remember how she looked like in that last episode? Yeah, you could see like the hooves or whatever. I thought that was dope. That scene with the uh, the white the white the silver white king of the north. Yeah, that's my favorite. That's my favorite ball. Um, he looks so cool. Yeah, he looks so cool, man. Of course, I got a thing for lions too. So, oh, that that figure looks cool too. Can I get that one? This is on Flickr. For a lot. So, where can I buy it? Full review at Otaku Surf. I say I don't even exist no more. It's Amazon, like normal people. I wonder if they have a clear figure on Amazon. I'm looking it up now. No. Uh, yeah, yeah, they do, but it's um four hundred and nineteen dollars. <laughs> <laughs> then the next one is uh, nine hundred and eighty thirty eight dollars. Clean more. Figurine. It's all you, buddy. And it don't even look that good, in my opinion. Yeah. That nine hundred thirty-eight dollar one must be like huge mm. or something. The four hundred dollar one is is the one I think I saw on Flickr. Yeah, I think that's. I think that's it. They added a damn eyes. <laughs> I mean, I like my statues and everything, but I'm not going to spend over. Yeah, see, this is, this is the one. That, it was on Flickr. It looks cool, though. I'm not spending more than dollars on it. Now. <clears throat> Didn't go straight to hell with that. <laughs> you go to hell and you die. I like I like their uh, their black uniforms. I think those look cool. Well, it's an interesting story, and. The egg left. It's, I think it leaves itself some room to expand beyond the story that ended. Yeah, because remember, there's like this continent. There's this yeah. whole other continent where there's this big war going on. Yep. Yeah, so, and I like stories like that. Don't write yourself into a total, like, oh, yeah. it's over. It's over. Um, right here, another- right here, you can see the uh, stitches where they uh. Open up their bodies to put the demon flesh in. Mm-mm. That scene. Oh, oh, you want, you but, want my but, body? Like, look at this pose right here. Like, can't you see homegirl in this pose with the hair? Yelling? Yes, I can see her yelling. Let me find that video, that video real quick. Calm down. Take it easy, lady. No. <laughs> <laughs> Is it Ozark? Yeah, it is right here. How long is this shit? Oh, it's only 16. 
Give me a second. Okay, cool. Is all you need. You Can you hear it? Yeah. Okay. Look at her. Look at her yelling. Look at her. Oh, man. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> oh, is this your silver server? Is this your silver server? I think she's a good actress. I think she could pull it off. You know, I think she could she could she could change it up and be convinced. All right. But folks, I'm not gonna sit there and say anything about this lady because you know I was wrong about Chris Evans being um Captain America. So why wow, you think he could play Captain America? Mm -hmm. I had no because he was too all the roles I saw him before that, he was always in like teeny bopper movies and then he is Johnny Storm. That kind of tainted it, but the man came back with a vengeance. So I thought he was a better uh, Captain America than he was a Johnny Storm. He you. was. When I think of Captain America, I don't think of um, Anthony Mackie. And I, and I think, <laughs> yeah, that shit's gonna flop, dude. That shit's gonna flop. That shit's gonna be terrible. No, no one wants uh, leftovers. Sloppy seconds. Yeah, no one wants sloppy seconds, man. We want Captain America. We want the actual Captain America. <laughs> uh -oh. No, you're just saying that because he's white. No. I'm saying that because Anthony Mackie doesn't have a commanding presence at all. Well, it's not even that. I mean, because I, I, I think Anthony Mackie's a good actor. I just he's think a great actor. That, I just think that... Um, but he's the buddy. Yeah, he's a sidekick <laughs> turn. Yeah, it's just like, yeah, he's man. He's the buddy. He's Robin. <laughs> he is Robin. See, this is the model See, they should have got for, for Fat Chick. <laughs> yeah, I remember this this part right here. <coughs> Where, like, Claire, like, kisses, like, a, what, how old is Rocky? He got to be, like, what, 13, 14? On a list. Yeah, like, what, like, what the hell is she doing? <laughs> but I don't think she's that old. I, I know the age slow, but I think she's still, like, Young, young. I mean, she no, got, she's no. So remember, she, remember right here where she's where she's young when she first meets Claire. She's probably only like what 13, 12, 13. So when she becomes a full fledged Claymore, she's got at the very least she's seven. At the very least, she's seventeen. I'm assuming she's probably in her early twenties, though. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Remember, it takes a long time, and they say like eighty percent of Claymores, people who try to become a Claymore, die. So. The, the training is rigorous and it takes a long time. But we will not have the delinquency of our Jedi Knights. You know, when I when I saw this, when I saw this in the anime though, I remember when when her and Rocky were walking down the street and then Rocky was like, um, I can't believe you can, you know, you could code switch like that because they were in that uh Catholic like type city. Cat cathedral and yeah. And she was he. They were pretending like they were brother and sister. So when they were talking to the hotel manager, she like you know changed it up. She she was acting like real sweet and stuff like that. And Rocky was like, "How can you just change up like that?" And then she was like, "Well, we've been trained to uh you know almost like ninjas. You know, ninjas have to you know they have to train to be instrumentalists mm -hmm. and 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 beggars and stuff like that. It's like we've been trained to do all this. We've been trained to be like hookers." She was like, "You want me to demonstrate?" <laughs> <laughs> Rocky's like, let me, let me show you. Like, no, she, for you. Yeah, so when I when I saw this, I think she did this because um she was putting on an act because he didn't want to leave her, and he was like, okay, she was like, we're about to, I'm about to go fight some really, really, really dangerous foes. You, I can't have you hanging around me. You, you're, you're gonna die. You know, there's a good chance I'm gonna die. And I think the only way he could probably get her to. The only way he, he he she could get him to leave is to kind of like almost like seduce him, like to like you know go away, you know. That's what I that's what I took from it. Um, but I'm like, damn, and dude's only like 13, 14 years. So. And, this story does take a while because I think Rocky grows up to be a great swordsman. Yeah, because remember they she spent seven years on the mountain with this with the seven ghosts. Mm. Just to fight this organization that's out here making money. That should be cool for you, America. <laughs> man, I hope they continue to animate, man. Well, Since I've been rewatching it, I've been telling everybody at work about it. No one's even heard of it. They're mostly young people, though. And they don't know shit. 
you motherfuckers don't know shit. Like, come on, man. You can't tell me this one would, would make a cool ass live action. Hot chicks wielding big ass fucking swords. Yeah. But you know what we're gonna get? Silver fucking serpent. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I can't wait uh, to read them. I'm gonna buy and, it next, and, next and, week. I'm gonna, I'm gonna I'm gonna order it. Folks, you want to know where I applied my brother G Flux? Rather than doing what normal people would do and just reading on the internet, he is actually buying paper. I thought about reading it. I was like, nah, let me buy it. I want I want to actually be able to hold it in my hand. Printed hands press when I'm in bed, you know, sleep about to fall asleep or whatever. Printed press, people. <clears throat> do, you, do you hear what this blasphemous human being is saying? He was willing to smirch his good drawing fingers on paper. <laughs> to smirch the blasphemy of it all. Yeah, man, I'd rather see this. I'd rather see this than uh, Fan 4. Uh, there's, there's something unique about it that I think would really translate well to live action you want to know i could just imagine certain scenes in my head right now man that i think would just look really cool and folks if y'all want to know when the the crew the lucid oaks crew really and i want to say this collectively i don't want to speak for everybody but i want to see where i feel that we all started to like go turn against the whole comic book movie industry it had to be ant-man last year yeah, I mean, I was already not liking where it was going, but Ant Man was the last draw for me, man. I was like, I'm done with that shit, dude. And then for Star Wars Mandalorian series season three, I was like, Yep, I didn't even finish the season. I was that upset with it. I was like, Nope, won't be finishing this. The blasphemy of it all. This is her right here, Elena. <clears throat> this, I can't remember. Do I have to watch the series again? Did she, she die at the end of that series? You don't know because. After after she gives Claire her arm, right? No, not Elena, not Elena. Um, I'm talking uh, about um, Priscilla. Does she die? No, no. Um, the Silver King rescues her. Saves her. her. And he, yeah, they run off. Isley, yeah. Yeah, he rescues her. Uh, because Claire is about to, to kill her ass. And then Rocky kind of like jump, j- jumped in between the two. And... Uh, <clears throat> She's about to kill him too into a homegirl. <laughs> you know who who uh who she saved her in a previous time, kind mm-hmm. of uh <clears throat> sacrificed herself. Yeah, man, I think there's a lot of potential for this. I think a, a good I can see a trilogy. I can see a trilogy for this. And they already got the first movie pretty much written out with the first uh, yeah. anime season. No, the first no, I would no, I would take your time. Dude, the first movie should be um it should it should be it should start off with her meeting Rocky and then it ends with her in the in the Catholic type city and her fight and her fighting what she thinks is a voracious being, but it's just a it's a normal demon, it's just it's a little bit more girthy than a than a normal demon. And so you you hear about Awaken beings and stuff like that. You might hear a little bit about Teresa. You might see some back, uh, <clears throat> some um, what do you call it? flashbacks or whatever. But the the culmination would be her fighting that that big demon, and you re- and then you find out she's actually one of the weaker claymores. Like that's how it would end, and that there's way more to the to the world or whatever. <clears throat> and then the second movie would be um, you'd focus a little bit more on Teresa and that backstory. And then it would end with her and the other uh, Claymore's awakening and being able to control their awakening, awaken state or, or re- revert back to their normal state. And then learning about, um, or they're figuring out why they were sent to, to kill that awakened being. It was really to kill them. It was a way to get rid of them because they had partially awakened and that they were unruly or whatever. And then the third movie would be um which is ma you know what i'm saying them being sent north or whatever 
to fight mm-hmm. uh, all those awakened beings. You get in the sil- in the Silver King, I mean the Silver Eye Lion King. So I'll, I'll end with that. And who yeah. I will reiterate was fucking them up. <laughs> yeah. And then if they wanted to, they could do a, a fourth movie that would continue the story from where the anime left off. You know. <clears throat> Cause I wouldn't try to put too much in one movie because a lot of movies try to do that now and try to put too much in one movie. So like like give it a good trilogy, even 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 a good quadrology, I think would be good. Yeah. Who wrote, um who's the writer for um for um Claymore? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know the author's name. I should know this though, because I think I think uh I remember when I first discovered Claymore when I saw an image of it, I was like, man, that shit looks dope. You know, and I started watching it and I just I think I binge watched that shit. That shit was that good. The only the only part about Claymore I don't like is Rocky. He's kind of annoying, um, but I understand his character. His character grounds Claire. It, it it grounds her humanity. I just think they they, sh- they should have made him less annoying. Well, uh, folks, made him less annoying. I agree. This has been a limited edition of the kicking it with the Almighty One and Brian. Damn, look how they did the mountains. Oh, it's dope. I mean, there's no mistake. The artwork is dope. <clears throat> it is dope, dope, dope. But we don't get what we want. We get the Silver Surfer. I know, man. It's like, come on, guys. <laughs> no, come on, man. Get, get, get it together. But hey, we this, this is the segment of the show where we show what we're currently work on, working on. Y'all can see what I'm working on, brother. Truth. And I am working on Mr. John Turner from look our out. comic called Southern yeah. Shinobi. Y'all can make sure to look out for the hater featuring Brother Truth and his book of truth. I might have to edit this, though, man. We we did almost an hour of technical difficulties. <laughs> You're definitely gonna have to do that. Hello. And it was you the whole time. I thought it was me. <laughs> yeah, I guess it was me. I guess when I unplugged my mic or whatever. I was like, what the heck? But yeah. And if you haven't, we've been talk we talked about Claymore. It's um East um Western media is dead to me. I'm just gonna put it just do Yeah, there's everything. not a lot of hope. There's not a lot of hope there for anything. There's a few horror movies I think I want to see. Uh, well, for the most part, like the main stuff that I've been watching over the last ten years, like the Marvel stuff, Star Wars stuff, and it's like yeah, Star it's Wars dead. really, really was dying with with the last uh, sequel trilogy. Well, they're coming out with another one, so be ready, folks. I won't be watching that. <laughs> Star Wars is dead to me. Dead to me, I say. He did. What? <laughs> what happened to him? He did. But I, I only person I still respect in Star Wars is Mark Hamill because he did say, you know, Luke Skywalker wouldn't be like this. What the hell are you doing? He's done. He said he's not. He's done with Star Wars. He's not doing it anymore. I mean, he's I old, think, so I can, I can understand why. But I think he sold his likeness rights to um, Disney. For he have his likeness rights. <laughs> no, no, no. Yeah, uh, they do. Because um, yeah, I mean, think about it. If you. I mean, they just can't use his face to play, make another character, but they have the rights to lose to Luke Skywalker. He looks like Mark Hamill. He didn't, they didn't have to buy it; they already got it. <laughs> well, there you go. Another that. miss. Another miss opportunity. A lot of people were advocating for Sebastian, uh, Stan. Guy, Sebastian Stan for a Luke series. I would have loved that. I would but, like if they would have had the again if they would have had the right creative team behind that I would check that out. But you know why? I, I you know what? I I don't want to see a Luke series because they tainted Luke too much. You know, you're right. Like you're right. You're right. <clears throat> yeah. If it all like I said, if it all is gonna if it's all gonna lead to green titty milk, mm-hmm. I bother. Green. And only titties we like around here is the one that Carbon puts up. It's like why bother? Yeah. I like there's only one cool scene I like in that movie. Um, that third movie. And that's when um Leia is pulling herself through space. That's the second that, movie. Is that the second movie or the third one? No, well, they're all, no, they're, there's nothing good about the third movie. 
They're all bad. Good, there's not one good thing about the third movie. That second movie, I think, had a lot of potential. What was it called? Uh, Last Jedi. That's the one people hate the most, but I actually thought out of all of the movies in the new trilogy, that was the best one. Because Force Awakens sucked. I don't care what anybody said. That, that movie was not good. Oh, it was, it was a rehash. Yeah, it was, just wasn't I've good. Nothing this. about that movie was good. I've um, seen this but there was there was parts of The Last Jedi that I thought really worked really well that was good. It's just the bad parts of that movie really bring it down. And that's the desecration of Luke's character. That's none of the new characters being interesting or cool or well-written or, you know, original, you know. Uh, but there's, there was some good stuff in it. Like when, when, when Yoda and Luke are having their conversation, that was cool. I like the Porgs. The Porgs are like the newest, like, as far as like the newest creations are the, are the, are the things I like the most as far as the newest creations are concerned. The little Porgs. Um, a lot of people didn't like, a lot of people didn't like the Leia scene in space. I liked it. I thought it, it, it showed a lot of, um, it showed exactly. I thought, it, I, thought it, I thought it brought mystery back to the force and oh. that, um, and they, they didn't make her like overpowered. She, she was able to preserve her life just long enough to get back in there. Then she was, in the hospital after that. I thought that was a good way. No, no, no. Uh, no. Uh, portraying it. Okay. You know? The reason why I, I like that whole Leia scene is because I am a fan of the Legends continuity. Leia mm. is insanely powerful. She's, well, the way George Lucas was um putting it out, they, said, they were going to say if I, um, he said that Leia was actually the chosen one, not Anakin or Luke. So I'm like, okay. That kind of—I don't, don't think that's true. Look it up. You look it up. You made a claim. Find the source. You, yes, I, I will do I'm that. I'm pretty now. sure he said Luke was the chosen one. No, Luke is not the chosen one. It's Anakin. You just said it was Leia. How's it Anakin? If it's Leia. Hold on, hold on. All right, I'm looking it up. I'm looking it up now. George Lucas provides details on the original plan for Star Wars sequel trilogy and somebody's book. It's the Star Wars archives, 1999-2005. Perhaps the biggest revelation is Lucas intended the resurrection of Star Wars Phantom Menace with a villain, Darth Maul, and to turn him into the main antagonist. Darth Maul would have mechanical legs become the godfather of the underground crime in the underground. They did that. They did that with uh, the... um. What's it called? The uh, Han Solo movie. No, that was like a prequel. But yeah, I see what you're talking about. They, they're trying to incorporate some of his ideas. This is like way before. Darth Maul trained a girl named Darth Talon in a comic book as his apprentice. Lucas also continues, Darth, she knew that Darth Vader was the most in the most action. So... Okay, whatever. What does this have to do with the chosen one? I am getting to it. But this is something about his original plan. This was not it. What actually, not what he actually went with. Well, this is his original plan if he continued the series. I understand. Yeah, what, but what does this have to do with Luke being the cho- uh, Luke or or Anakin being the chosen one in the in the prequels? George Lucas said that Leia would have been the chosen one in his version of Star Wars. What are your thoughts? What do you mean his version? I mean, he this we got his version. <laughs> yeah, not his version. By the end of the trilogy, Luke, Luke would have rebuilt the Jedi Temple and Leia, becoming sure in the Senator Organa. So she. So what are you talking him. about? You talking about the the sequel trilogy? Or are you talking about she the actual? Back, she would have, it was like if George Lucas did episode what was it seven, eight, and nine? Leia would have been. The one to bring balance to the force. She would have been the heralded, heralded hero. <laughs> it's not I don't see joke. how if, if if the emperor and all that was already defeated thanks to Luke. <laughs> yeah. Hey man, we're not the writers. We're just here for entertainment. You didn't explain that well at all. Well, I was reading it. Not one bit. You didn't explain it. I mean, you, didn't, you didn't prove anything. <laughs> uh, you know what? I'm gonna go. I'm going to go eat a salad. Yeah, it's time to it's time to wrap this up. I gotta go to bed. I wake up early to go see my my grandmother. How's she doing? Um, last time I saw her, she she was doing better, but you know she's 90, 92, 93 years old. So, <clears throat> Let's see this. 
All right. Is anybody, is anybody watching? I don't think anybody's watching this anyway. Yeah. You can go ahead, Cut. Let's go ahead, to the YouTube, YouTube channel. I just want to see if anybody, I don't think anybody's watching. No, nah, probably not. Especially after our terrible start. <laughs> yeah, I don't yeah, think anybody's watching. We got a conversation now. Yeah. I All right. Well, what do you think so far? Thanks though, for someone who probably may eventually watch this, I guess, who might have. I gotta maximize it. I can't see it for right now. Let me see. Oh, oh, what do you think of so far? Be something up with his right shoulder. Something, something up with his right shoulder, though. His right shoulder is too low. This one? You think it should be about no, that, that height? Well, no, 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 no. Um, yeah, his left. Well, it's his right shoulder, but yeah, our our left, I guess. <laughs> so you you gotta remember. You gotta remember when. You, when your arm is moving up, your shoulder points upwards too, like a uh, like a uh, what do you call it? Like a um. So you see where my black lines are? <clears throat> no, that's no. Remember, imagine a um, like a. It should, uh, it should be about his cheek level. I just raise my arm to see what I'm doing. Yeah, and look at your shoulder. And you're, it's it should be right like, by here. No, no, you. It's not that you're raising the sh the shoulder all the way up. It rotates up. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So the angle you have, um, where his collarbone is, isn't right. Because remember, the collarbone is going to move up too. So right about here. Yeah. So I'm about to redraw this. No, you don't have to redraw that. You just got to bring the shoulder down. Not down, but draw draw the uh, the other part Arm up. Of, of the shoulder. No, no. <laughs> just like how you had, just like how you have it on the on the purple line. Do the same thing with the black line. Just blend it in with what you have. Okay, I'll fix that later. God. I need to sell. I need to sell it. Yeah. All right, man. I'll talk to you later. Uh, all right. Hey, what do you think about um before you leave? What do you think about the color scheme being like a flamboyant red? <clears throat> uh, I don't know. Uh, I'll have to see that. I'll have to see it. Yeah. Well, I thought you were going to do color anyway. Just for the characters. I want the characters to be in color. Oh, uh, okay. And I want the background characters to be in black and white. Only one episode. Only thing I want to do in full color is the last one. And I got oh I got to see oh I got to send you the image of the chaos bringer. <laughs> you remember the story? All right, we'll, we'll do that later. Um, I'm, I'm trying to get off here. So I'm gonna get some to eat and go to bed. Get off my get off my line. We ain't we ain't friends no more. I see. I talk to you next week. All right, man. In stream. Did you, oh, did you get did you get that reference? <laughs>